I literally, I can knock a Chinese person down if I really. But come on, they don't bring that shit to me. Man, come here. Come here, don't listen to what they say on the Western media. Just come here. So, right. uh, welcome back to the channel. I am with my friend Sheku. He is a British vlogger, just like me. He's just recently moved to China. He's been here about six weeks. We're currently in People's Park. He's come to Shanghai and I'm taking him to a couple of spots in the city. Uh, we're currently at the marriage market in People's Park. Very, very busy today. But we're going to find somewhere quiet to sit down and have a chat about something that's, um, that's a very interesting topic in China. So we're going to go and find somewhere quiet, sit down and let you guys listen to our conversation. Being a Sunday afternoon in the heart of the city, obviously this park is absolutely packed right now. But the good thing about living in Shanghai is if you don't want to be in one park, then all you have to do is walk two minutes and you find yourself in another park. Nice. Yeah. Is that my... That's my plan. Okay, so we have arrived at Tomorrow's Square, just across the road from People's Park. Beautiful area. And we're gonna have a sit down conversation uh, about racism in China and the differences in racism and what's perceived as racism in China compared to perhaps the UK, America, some other places in Asia and the rest of the world. Well, you already know my name and uh, basically my name is Sheku. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a thing out there again. So the reason why I came to China is because I, wanted, I just wanted something different, right? And I think it's like um, I'm not new to Asia, you know, I've actually been to China before and uh, on a layover in Beijing and Guangzhou and I've, I've actually never got a chance like to explore right so what got me to China is just like the vibe you know I just missed it I've been to the likes of um, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia other sort of places right I've so you're very well traveled yeah very, very well traveled yeah, especially in Asia that's it that's it I just love it here you know I could, I, I could easily go anywhere right and I've lived previously as well in, in the States and uh, I've lived in Taiwan, now I'm living here, I've lived previously in Africa, you know, growing up, you know, basically, and I just, I just love it, you know, so when I say something, I'm speaking of experience, and uh, I just feel like um, since I've been here in China, I've seen so many, like, positive things, like, things, um, people want me, like, so oh, if you come here, you might not like it, so, yeah, overall, I'm very happy, I used to work in the, in the UK, and, uh, because I'm actually from there, I'm from London, and uh, yeah, I just I just want to do something different, so that's why I'm here. Okay, so what were your initial expectations about China, and how has that differed to uh, your experiences so far in the country? Oh right, yeah. Um, initial expectation when I come in here, I mean, some of the crazy thing people were telling me, right? You know, my what place I used to work, you know, because I work I used to work in the fashion industry, right? And then basically, people were telling me like, don't come to this place. You know what are they treat um people that look like you are you're black you know you're dark in complexion as well so they're going to treat you really really that bad well of course you know because i've been here before in asia so i know for sure like the people in any country go to right in asia as long as you come with an open mindset you're respectful to the culture right i think uh, you won't have any problems to adjust to the system here and uh yeah so since i've been here of course then coming in here i was a little bit skeptical let's face it right but it's china my friend because in the western news there's a lot of bad press unfortunately but i'm quite amazed by the hospitality the kindness don't get me wrong people do stare here you know actually that's the thing so and uh but it, it's, it, it grows on me right so in fact i'm a i'm a person i'm a people person and i love attention so i bring it you know so it's a it's a match made in heaven really so so would you say the stairs uh stairs the stairs affect you because i remember me yeah. being here for the first like six months or so right it was something that you really really have to get used to um after a while you don't really recognize it so much anymore but um, I remember living in a, in a smaller city than Shanghai right. I lived in Foshan for a year right. and I mean you would go weeks without seeing a foreigner oh yeah 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 so yeah, the yeah, stairs yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's I think um, the thing is like um, when you go to a more smaller cities like you just mentioned as well, right? Like, people are going to be looking at you quite a lot, right? Especially if you're a foreigner and uh, let alone if you're a foreigner who is black as well. So definitely like most likely never seen someone that looks like, like you. So maybe it could be the first interaction, right? So that's the thing I was, like, I was saying like when you come here, they stare, it's not like because they hate you, they stare because like they're so curious, they're, they're, in, they're, they're intrigued and they're, they're, they're quite mind blown by your, your physique, you know, let's face it man, a lot of them black um, guys, you know, we're freaking huge, especially if you've got a chubby jaw like me, uh, basically of course man, I always smile to everyone, chicky, see the cute ladies, the, the, you know, the, the not so cute ones, but anyways man, all in general, I think uh, the people here from the older generation to the younger generation as well, everyone has been in class and if you can say even if you don't speak the language just say niha i always say niha niha ma wo ja she ku and they go crazy oh chinese good i was like you bloody hell you're trying to patronize me isn't it how dare you right but on um, generally i think um if you make the effort to learn this language you will get to experience a different side of china you never actually experienced before you know i'm trying it's not an easy language about mandarin you've got different dialects as well you know so yeah, and so far, I understand. I'll get used to it, and um, I'm getting used to it. It doesn't really bother me that, that that much, you know. So it's fun. It's more interesting, really, you know. So like when you're here, so yeah. Can you share any um, instances where perhaps um, you felt that you were treated differently because you were a, a foreigner mm. or black in China? Um, have you had any instances so far where you feel that you were treated differently or do you think oh 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 let me let me tell you something right so the thing is like yes if you're a foreigner you're going to be treated differently especially let's say for example right um, let's say you you're trying to let's say you're recording at a place um, where um, you're not you for, for normal citizen right locals of course they know the law and that uh, if if they break it in certain way like, of course that uh, they can get into a little repercussion but for you as a foreigner you got a free pass to make mistakes and they'll be like it's all right right but generally when it comes to us um, fair treatment nah man the one thing I like about China is yeah everything all the tourist attraction right same price it's just exactly the same as what the locals are paying so you don't really you don't really feel like you've been treated you've been cheated or whatever right so yeah and uh, i like i like that bit nah i think generally my experience has been class you know why mate my first week when i was here i can't believe it man it's like people when i was stuck right trying to navigate like the subway right people were just like they're just like um there's someone come up from nowhere help me oh do you need any help i was like what really this is not normal or what do you need they don't need anything right so just want to help me out and then i went when i was in tng there's a young lady right she i thought she, she offered to like to pay for my for my ticket as well so i was like my boss right if people just been nice and generous really like people pet they ask me out they they'll buy for my they'll pay for my food as well it's it's been amazing man when it comes to treatment from the locals it's been class so far <laughs> Okay, another question for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, what would you say, if any, are the differences in um, being black in China compared to being black in the UK? Oh boy, you know, you know what? I'm gonna ha I'm gonna actually add on on that question. Being black in the UK and also alongside the states, America, because I've lived there before, so I think it's appropriate like to address this as well, right? Because um, being black anywhere you know especially in this part of the world can be challenging for some people you know but if you're someone like hustle is outgoing the more you travel you're you're hoping minded i think you're not gonna have any much trouble here right? yeah, really i think i'm um, here yeah, you're gonna stand out that's the most thing because like let's say we are in shanghai where it's the hub for all the tourists right they come into china and then when you look around i think today i haven't i haven't even seen have you seen another black person I haven't, and that's unusual. I have to say for Shanghai, because yeah? usually, yeah, 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 usually. I mean, there's uh, there's a lot of black people in Guangzhou. I know that. Yeah, but yeah. Shanghai. Usually, there is quite a, quite a few as well. Maybe yeah? they're all on holiday. No, I came at the wrong time then. So, but honestly, like, I haven't seen. It's mad. So that is a, that is a, a surprise for me. And uh, when you go to um, Beijing, 
I've, I do see uh, quite a few in Beijing. You know, it's the capital, right? And uh, yeah, Shanghai is very popular. But generally, right, um, when you're here as a black person, right, the police won't come up and stop you. Yes, don't get me wrong. I've been stopped once by the police, right? Because I, I newly moved to to China here so when you get an apartment right you have to go to the police station and register and then from there and they'll pay you a visa randomly it could be a visa or maybe they'll just stop you somewhere just to check like you've got the right documentation so they stopped me one time at one night and they pulled me they were so kind about it it was like oh no, no, no. the language barrier was a massive problem I called my manager my my the people that helped me to, to come here my company as well it was like don't worry man just give you your information your passport and I did, and then the check things, everything came out perfectly, you know, so that's it. And then ever since, no police officer, it's safer. I mean, honestly, like, the police don't even carry guns here compared to in, in the States. In the UK, police don't carry guns there, right? I'm not gonna lie to you, like, in the UK, I think in the Western developed world, I think the UK treat black people way better than any Western developed country out there. Not to say it's perfect, but, it's a step in the right direction, right? So there's a lot of diversity there. So as in the States, but the difference is in the States, it's like their history is quite brutal, right? And racism still is a thing that is happening there sadly, right? And the tension between the black and the white and the Hispanian, it's just really that, 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 that really that, that bad, you know? So that's the reason why you've seen a lot of this um, crime spiking in so many ha in so many so many, so many ways, right? It's just freaking mosquitoes, my bloody, bloody um, what is this? What is what's the, what's the pack it we're, we're in right now? Community pack? Uh, people's square. Oh, people's no, square. people's people. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow square. Tomorrow, tomorrow square. square. Tomorrow square. Yeah, tomorrow square. Right. So yeah, it's a it's a beautiful pack. Very very nice, but it's just freaking mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, maybe we need to move in a second. Yeah, we'll probably gonna move, man. But anyways, like basically, I think the only danger you, you can find here is this freaking mosquito. That's it. <laughs> Okay, so we've decided to get away from the mosquitoes, go for a nice little walk. Question for you, um, do you have to, do you feel like you have to behave in a certain way in the UK when you see a police officer walking down the street towards you, compared to perhaps uh, if you see a police officer on the street in China? Do you have to change how you're behaving or, because I know some people in the UK might be a little bit anxious when they see the police um, and the attitudes towards police in the UK are very different to how they are in You know what, let's China. just stand up. This, this one is very important for like, just standing in, let's just discuss about this one. I mean, honestly, like some people, right? Um, if you are someone who is turning something shady, right? And that uh, you're doing something dodgy on the side. Dodgy means like you're not, you're actually, let's say you're not doing well. Let's just sit down here. So yeah, basically like, um, generally, yeah, I don't I have to behave. I don't think um, when I was in the UK, I have to behave in a certain way because I wasn't into any gang. I wasn't like, um, let's say, influenced by getting into all the sort of thing you know in fact um when i see a police officer in the uk because of my energy wherever i go so i will smile to them sometimes they're even cute oh were you recording because i always have my camera with me right it was like hey hey it's a like, you're a youtuber right they want to check my stuff right i was like yeah feel free man so definitely for me i behave normally when i was in the uk but of course certain people have to behave in a certain way now the one thing is my mom told me right whenever a police officer stop you like wherever you are comply as long as you're you're not in the wrong just comply and then you can get it done and, and dusted and the reason why it's like some people find it like oh because the police officer stopped me because i'm black i don't like to use that phrase you know i'm not the kind of person because i'm black that's why i didn't get our job because i'm black that's the reason why they stopped me because i'm black i can't progress in life i don't like it and this video is not based on our race it's not like that this video is about based on you as a foreigner leaving uh, let's say living here in china and uh, as a foreigner in general right like um, my experience so far in China in terms of like dealing with the police, right? They don't discriminate, really. I mean, there's a video that actually gone viral right now about this um, teacher, basically, that used to work here in Shanghai, right? And then basically, um, it's really sad what happened, of course, and what happened basically is not the full story. Let's just give some background for yeah. people that don't know. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a South African teacher um, right. in Shanghai, right. or there was a South African teacher in Shanghai, right. and um, she apparently had a bad incident with a, um, a school that she was working at, right. a HR manager at a school that she was working at, 
Um, we don't know the full details, right. but she said that she was assaulted and she had to leave leave the country. I think right. that pretty much sums it up. That, that, that's it. That's exactly that's it, right? So basically, um, I did when the video went out live, right? The first few hundred people that actually commented, I was one of the, one of the few, and I asked a question. I was like, it would be nice, like, if we can share a bit of the details so we can discuss about it, and then my comment got deleted. It's not like I'm mad. No, we're not against her. What's that? I don't know her really. I don't really care, man. If um, really about personal life what I'm saying is like what happened to her surely if the story is actual factual right then of course it's really sad and uh, yeah punching someone in the face no matter what was said I think it's totally wrong to, to punch someone but then again like it's it's so imbalanced right I just feel like um, when you look at vision like that if you're on the outside you would think um, Chinese people are just so racist you would think um, yeah that black people have no freedom or whatever right but um, Chinese will be punching you and the one thing I'll tell you for sure, the Chinese people are one of the, the kindest people, they don't like to fight. They're not the kind of people like literally, I can knock a Chinese person down if I really, but come on, they don't bring that shit to me. But then again, you're going to start, it's like, oh, she's a woman, that's the reason why she can't fight. You know, but listen, man, Chinese people are very soft people. It would take someone, right, really, I mean, you, you, you probably will say something really that is, I, what I'm trying to say is like, you have to do something really that bad for someone to lose their call here in China. And I'm, I'm telling you for sure, right? So definitely, um, there's something wrong with our school and uh, the school she used to work, work for. And the thing is that when you look through our channel as well, she got a familiar theme when it comes to um, each country she goes. There's a lot of drama, you know, so I don't want to pick on her. You know, if you're labeled in China, it's a very racist place. Why do black people want to leave here? I mean, trust me, there's so many black people that leave here in China. They're having a quality of time. It depends on where you're working at. Of course, there's some dodgy companies here. You have to be careful, right? But other than that, generally, if you work in a legit place, oh my God, you're going to have a blast in this country. The cheap people are not racist. Imagine, China is full of 1.4 billion people, man. And then, for one incident, people start labeling the entire country like, oh, Chinese people are like that. And I think it's totally wrong. It's so, not... I have another question for you. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Perhaps some people back home, perhaps some people, some black people specifically yeah. in the UK, South Africa, or yeah. America would have seen that video yeah. or had. Um, or had any you know preconceptions about about China um, what would you say to those people that perhaps uh, want to move here to China to work but are a bit fearful too because they've seen that video and their skin color is dark what yeah. would you what would you say to those people oh, me I ain't gonna lie to you right not labeling China as a perfect place right don't get me wrong of course maybe in some companies maybe they have a favorism sort of thing happening there but generally right generally here if you are an outsider you're Americans you're British if you want to come here and teach you can leave a good quality of life here the pay is amazing the cost of living is so low don't be don't be tempted like to stay away from China because you're missing out right that video what the video is telling you to what the, the, the experience is here for a lot of them the black people here I can tell you what China is one interesting place racism up in I mean everywhere what to say like China is full of racism everywhere no go through my channel see see the interactions see the way the people treat me now I see people inviting me to places people asking me like you know they, they want the security want to ask to take a picture you know or they ask me oh can you please take us a picture what's whatever right I mean honestly there's so many opportunity here and uh, you don't have to be afraid of nothing it's a safe place completely safe and uh, my, me honestly, that video, it just one-sided, I'm, I'm afraid, very one-sided. And I uh, know I've, I've followed up on, on the, the first video, the second video, and then, yeah, I just feel like there's, there's key information missing, right? So don't, don't let that video just summarize everything and say, oh, you know what, China might not be the place because of my skin color. They're gonna be looking and staring at me and every single move, I, everything I do really, I'm gonna be constantly being watched. Nah, 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 of course you're gonna get stared at, but mainly at a very touristy places, really. But other than that, it's a fabulous life. Me, I used to have this kind of feeling, the kind of idea, right? You, right now, if you're having this kind of thought, oh, maybe uh, this is what will happen to me now. Man, come here. Come here, don't listen to what they say on the Western media. Just come here and see it yourself. And I'm sure, yeah, if you come here with an open mind, you are going to have a blast. I mean, honestly, be friendly, smile. Don't forget to smile. Smiling is key. 
that get to smile. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for that, mate. Yeah. Go check out Sheku's channel. I will link it in the description below. Right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Beautiful spot in the middle of the city.